Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. Powered by Rustlin, 100% pure music. Levon Serum, the evening show at 6. A very wonderful welcome to your own. It's called the Levon Evening Show at 6. It's powered by Ruslan 100% PR Music. And I am your VJ Preshka with you, trying to make your day better. And when I try to make your day better, I call upon guests. So, as we have some exam, guests are not so good. So, the whole show. Ani, to introduce him is also a pleasure because he's just 23 years old. And you're right, age, man. He's done so much. If you have heard about Oyo, especially Oyo Rooms. So we have the founder of Oyo with me today and I'm glad to introduce you to him. So here we have Ritesh Agrawal. Ritesh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> so how do you feel as per like your venture is here in Nepal, the second international market after Malaysia? So yeah. how do you feel? Oh, I feel great. First off, thank you so much for having me here. It's an incredible country. I've never had the opportunity to be here before this, yeah. but the last couple of days I've had here, there's so much love, there is so much um, warmth in people that, that um, you know, we, f we, we feel that in the great country of Nepal, um, we have a very, very long story that we'll script together. All right. So uh, with your experience as part today of how, how do you think the reaction is going to be? Yeah. How do you think the market is going to take it? So uh, Oyo has always been young people's brand, right? Yeah. So. Um, in any market that we are in, be it Malaysia, be it India, or any of these markets, um, our biggest consumer segment are actually the young people. Mm -hmm. Primarily because um, you know everything from our mobile app to the way our hotels are structured, um, they're very young and poppy in terms mm -hmm. of the kind of colors, the kind of products, etc. we bring in. In the initial days, even before formally launching it, which we did today, um, we're seeing a lot of chatter among the Nepalese youth. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you go on Facebook and search for Oyo in uh, Nepal, Nepal, you'd see a lot of blogs and comments and so on from young people. So we feel that um, that has been an incredible start mm -hmm. and feel that over time, uh, we will have significant amount of user base among the young Nepalese youth. Okay. Um, uh, and and Generally, the follow-up question to it is, do you think that the middle-aged or the older people are outside your gamut? Not really. It, it actually works as if whoever is middle-aged or older ones, no one wants to feel old, right? Everybody yeah. wants to say that I'm young, which is why if we focus on the ne Nepalese young users, the middle-aged and the older ones will anyway become our users or customers. All right. With a good thought of yours. Well, um, how do, uh, forgetting about Oyo for a while, yeah. I would just love to ask, how did you find Nepal? Nepal is beautiful. I'll tell you a few things that I really um, uh, liked about um, the culture and the city here. Um, it's incredibly spiritual on one mm -hmm. side. But the other side, uh, what a lot of people don't know, at least outside of Nepal, is how um, young and trendy um, is a youth culture here. Um, people love dressing up very well. Yeah. Um, people love, um, you know, taking good selfies everywhere. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, uh, you know, that's um, that's something that I feel that uh, a lot of other countries could adopt because it's very, uh, you know, if you see the cafes around, it's beautiful. So that's one thing I really like. Uh, the second thing that I really like is uh, people are incredibly warm. Um, yesterday, for some reason, at the airport, there was a bunch of worries and there were three people who were willing to help me and they had no idea who I was, why was I here, uh, including the customs officer. This is incredible. The third one is, um, uh, you know, even though, um, uh, you know, uh, there, are, there are multiple disadvantages um, of being, um, you know, uh, of being in such a high terrain area, Nepal has been able to make that into an opportunity, uh, which is such beautiful locations have been made out of. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, you know, I'm so excited to be at Pokhara very soon, uh, Nepal Ganj, and a lot of these beautiful places that have been made out of uh, an opportunity that never existed. So, um, uh, which is why I've also been inspired by outside by the uh, uh, people of Nepal, mm -hmm. because every few years you'd see something wrong happens here. But immediately after that, you'd see that in the next three years, the country not only rises, but starts thriving, mm -hmm. uh, which is primarily because that perseverance, um, that ambition of doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, very inspired by the country. And I feel that regardless of Oyo, uh, you know, uh, continuing to be a bigger business or not, uh, Nepal has found a traveler uh, who'd come here very often, definitively. And, you know, we've made some great friends in this process, right, who've, right. Um, who've basically in all our you know, uh, in the last one and a half, two months of our work here, 
in our tough days supported us. We've had crazy issues, right? Like uh, the wooden flooring not reaching here in time. Mm -hmm. So somebody picked up the phone and said that we'll bring it at 2 a.m. at night. Um, this is this is um, truly heartfelt, and and we feel that. Uh, we'll try and um, uh, give back the gratitude in some way over time. All right. With that and much more about OYO and more, we'll be right here with the show, The Levon Evening Show at 6. Time for a musical break and we'll be right back. Levon Serum, The Evening Show at 6. Welcome back to the show again and as we welcome back, we're talking about OYO and I was as reading your article, Oravel, that's how you pronounce. So how did Oravel turn to OYO from yeah. your side? That's a great question. So, um, before starting OYO, um, we actually tried to start something which is more like uh, serviced apartments, villas, mm -hmm. um, you know, like Oravel stood for offbeat travel, right? Mm -hmm. Which is basically all kind of offbeat places. In the initial days, while our consumer base was continuously growing, the one thing we realized is our consumers did not have that predictable quality of experience. So, uh, the way of realization has a very fascinating story behind it. Because this business wasn't doing too well, and this was six to seven months between school and university, I basically set out on a three-month trip, which at that point of time was holiday, but looking back, I feel it was the best learning visit I had, mm -hmm. where every day I would wake up and stay in a new bed and breakfast, serviced apartment, guest house, small hotel, and whatnot. And this entire period, almost every day, I'd wake up and say that, hey, why is this place not filled up? And there was this basic quality issues that existed in all of these places that didn't allow people to go there. So I felt if this is the one problem that could be fixed, almost everything would change. So that's when I went to one property, that one property got standardized, we call it an OYO, and over time that kept growing. And in this entire process, Oravel um, uh, just you know, vanished and <laughs> OYO became like the uh, cool thing. But interestingly, over time, um, while taking control of the quality, we have gone back to the same kind of spaces. Um, so in Kuala Lumpur, for example, there are a bunch of these small villas that are now coming back on OYO, but this time the quality is controlled by us to ensure that the end guest has a great experience. Right. Um, so it's, life comes in an entire circle, mm -hmm. uh, but that's how it started. It started from hobby uh, to writing a blog to staying at hotels for three and a half, four months uh, to starting a hotel company to being um, uh, the largest hospitality company in South Asia uh, in just a few years. So uh, it's, it's been a great journey all this period. Yeah, because I was just reading through your article. You started when you were 17. Yeah, if started I'm not Oravel wrong. when I was 17. Yeah, so Oyo when 19. Oh, you were 19 and now you're 23. Yeah. And so what's the further plan like? What's, what's the next boom that you're about to do? <laughs> Look, I think um, our mission is fairly simple. Mm -hmm. um, uh, quality of living is something that um, is very core to our entire civilization. And we believe in absolute, I grew up in a middle class family myself. Mm -hmm. um, and every time I would um, see a lot of these larger hotels, I'd feel that why can't we bring majority of those products um, and make it accessible to the broader population. Um, and our belief is everything that we do, we will upgrade the quality of living. Yeah. Uh, the first property that we've today launched in Nepal, uh, Kathmandu, uh, it's so funny. Just by seeing the signage of our unit, at least 4,000 people downloaded our app in the last three weeks. So in Kathmandu, Whoa. we have 4,000 users yeah. who have downloaded our app, which is incredible. We, we had no idea this was happening. So uh, we feel that um, as we continue to grow, uh, we will bring great quality of living with ho hotels, apartments, and multiple segments, uh, but basically ensure that um, good quality of living is being brought. Mm -hmm. Related to it is actually another uh, brand that we've launched, which we call Oyo Townhouse. Mm -hmm. That's our upper market offering. Uh, these are uh, hotels that we call the friendly neighborhood hotel, okay. um, which is a combination of a hotel, a community space, uh -huh. a cafeteria, and a merchandise shop, okay. all, all brought in one wow. place, So, which we yeah. say it's work, play, and live at the same place, right? Um, and you know, we believe that um, over time, we'll bring that brand to Kathmandu and Nepal in other cities as well over a period of time. So you have so much to do, uh, but essentially the one essence in all of it mm -hmm. is it will always be focused on millennials okay. um, and at each point of time we'll continue to upgrade the quality of living. All right, time for another musical break. I hope you're having a good time enjoying our conversation and more. Time for another musical break and we'll be right back. Levon Serum, The Evening Show at 6. 
as I welcome you back, it's really inspirational to have such young people uh, traveling around, finding out their ways, doing what they like, because obviously it's a hobby turned into your profession and turned into an entrepreneur, turned into everything, and uh, he's a multimillionaire for now. <laughs> Let me let me not just go that, but just forget it. Well, um, what suggestion or how would you want to address to all those entrepreneurs? Your, how do you want to? What do you want to convey to them? Yeah. So you know, reality of life is a lot of times we should remember, entrepreneurship is not easy. Yeah. Um, you believe that you can get it right, but you never get it right. You seldom get it right in the first go, right? Um, however, this is the best time across the world. Uh, the way technologies are growing, the way connectivity is growing, telecom, 3G and so on coming up. Imagine if 10 years back somebody had to launch 7,500 hotels, they had to set up a shop in every city to mm -hmm. ensure people can come in and buy. Today our shop is a mobile phone yeah. where people can basically book a hotel room in 5 seconds. You press a button and you get a room. We believe that this will, the same thing will happen in every industry. There will be a complete regeneration of each one of those and young people understand other young people better than anyone else. So even if you don't get it right in the first one, please be perseverant. Don't give up too early and there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. All right, that's really nice. Well, we'd love to ask you some of your like personal questions too, if you don't mind. And the question is here, um, if I, you had to define yourself in three words, how would you define yourself? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> now, now it's the tough question because <laughs> whenever I ask about OU, whenever I ask about entrepreneurship, it's like right away the answer is your well. Okay, so this is the toughest yourself. session <laughs> section I would imagine. So uh, the first one um, I'd say is perseverant because we were talking about perseverance right before. Uh, so it took us close to eight months. Um, uh, to make a decision of coming into Nepal because every time we come into a geography we take a lot of time deciding but mm -hmm. once we do uh, we are there for the long term. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one um, uh, would be, uh, oh, it's a tough one, um, in, uh, you know uh, honest which means um, we are very straightforward. I could be uh, saying good things or bad things but I am very honest in uh, being able to communicate that. And third one um, is a traveler and learner. I'm trying to build that together because I have realized, um, you know, I dropped out of college, never completed my university. And one of the key things that I learned during that period is you should never let university interfere with your education. <laughs> and my education has been travel. Okay. So I think um, these are three things that I'd, um, I'd um, define myself with. All right. What was the last gift you have ever given to someone? Last gift? Um, Last gift was actually um, a very interesting uh, pen. Um, it was a Second World War uh, German pen, oh. um, uh, which which I gifted to uh, one of our partners. It's a very interesting one. As I grew up, I always grew up writing in fountain pen. I don't know if that's what uh, yeah. is the beginning one. You begin with fountain, fountain pens. Pen. Yeah. Uh, so I've been always fascinated by it. Um, so this was a fountain pen, which was a Second World War uh, German pen. All right. Um. What do you do for fun, except traveling? <laughs> <laughs> Travel is a lot of fun, yeah, I must tell I you. Uh, the other one is I, um, uh, I'm into sports uh, mm -hmm. a little bit. So uh, as a young kid, I started playing basketball. So I still play basketball once in a while. Wow, he plays basketball. I love playing basketball too. Is that so. right? Yeah, that's why I was like, I was very happy about it. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oh. Recent one. Recent one, yeah. not like the old ones. Do you get time to watch movies, by yeah, the way? <laughs> yeah, movie is actually, uh, other than sports, the only thing. But I take like the last show, like 11 yeah. p.m. at night, something okay. that, um, uh, and, and I've watched even like the most terrible movies. <laughs> um, uh, the, mo the recent uh, movie that I really liked, uh, it's a tough one because off late I haven't liked a lot of movies. Okay. But I'd say, um, I don't know, is, um, is Inception close? Yeah, yeah. Inception, yeah. I, I really, really like that movie because, uh, you know, I generally like, mo I'm uh, slightly contrarian, mm -hmm. where people would say, hey, terrible movie, I'd be like, yeah, that was a good nice one. Nice one, okay. So, uh, so, yeah, Inception maybe. All right. What do you admire the most in other people? What thing? Oh, there was this musical movie, I'm so sorry, I just remembered. There was this musical movie that recently came in, it won a lot of Oscars, I forgot, um, yes. which I really liked. Completely forgot its name. 
uh, those those are musical movies which is so cool yeah. all right my next question is here what do you admire in a person the most um, admire in a person the most I think um, it would be uh, uh, being able to have a conversation um, that that you'd really um, th that you can connect on yeah. um, and I feel that um, that happens very rarely um, so it's fairly subjective but uh, being able to have a good conversation is what yeah. you admire all right thank you so much thank you so much with that interesting question time for another break we have the last session left yet be with us live on serum the evening show at six so it's the time that I close the show. Well, talking with Ritesh was a really good opportunity to explore him, explore Oyo and much more. However, what is like, um, how do you think of expanding the market year of Oyo in Nepal? So um, this year we plan to bring at least 50 Oyos into Nepal okay. um, across three cities. Mm -hmm. um, Kathmandu, of course, this is home for us now, yeah. uh, where our first partner hotel has begun. But uh, we plan to come in Pokhara, which mm -hmm. is another location where people travel quite a bit. The third one uh, is another very interesting choice. It's a place called Lumini, okay. uh, which, is, which is where... Religious. Um, religious. Yeah. So it's a combination of travel uh, and religious and, of course, city. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and uh, you know, our belief is um, this is a market where we would not only have... Generally, people think about us as you'll bring just foreign tourists into Nepal. We believe that we will have a lot of local tourists. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, uh, within India, for example, or Malaysia, you'd, re you'd find very interesting that within Kuala Lumpur, 40% of our business are people from Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Uh, because those are people who basically have started using us for reasons that are unheard of, right? So there's a football match. Four friends would come together and say, hey, let's watch the match at Oyo. Together. <laughs> and, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's very interesting. Uh, we believe the next year is going to be very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and the love and support we're getting, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we did much more than what I'm telling you now. Okay. All right. It was really great to talk to you, Ritesh. Thank you, thank you, so you for much. coming to the show and thank you for your time. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> yeah, with this, it's time I press to take a leave. I'm going to bring next guest with some more interesting facts. And well, with that, it's going to be an interesting time together with the Levan Evening Show at 6. See you next time. Till then, we both are going to say bye for now. So, bye. Keep watching us. Levan Serum, the evening show at 6. Powered by Ruslan. 100% pure music. Livon Serum, the evening show at 6.